All right, welcome back to another national PSI real estate exam prep. And today we're going to talk about leasing and property management, specifically lease agreements. And we're going to go over five questions with their explanations as to why they are the answer. Question number one, an owner sold his 20 unit apartment building. Which of these statements would be true regarding the sale? The existing lease agreement must be honored by the new owner. The security deposits must be passed on to the new owner as these amounts are the property of the tenants. Additionally, the conditions stipulated in the lease agreement remain in effect. Therefore, the transition of ownership does not grant any period of rent exemption. Question number two. With a tenancy for years, no notice is required to terminate the lease. A tenancy for years, also known as an estate for years, is a type of leasehold estate that lasts for a predetermined duration. It is characterized by explicit start and end dates eliminating the need for a notice period. The duration of a tenancy for years can be set for any length of time. In this arrangement, the leasee holds a leasehold estate. Question number three, which of these would automatically terminate a residential lease? Total destruction of the property. A residential lease remains unaffected by the tenant's death, non-payment of rent, or the sale of the rented property. However, if the property is destroyed, the residential lease is terminated. Question number five. A broker has become a manager of a property that is difficult to lease. Which of these leases would the broker most likely use to secure a contract with a prospective tenant? A graduated lease. A graduated lease is designed to entice tenants to properties that are challenging to rent out by offering an initial rent below the market rate, which gradually escalates as the tenant's business expands. In contrast, a gross lease often comes with a higher rent to ensure the landlord can cover the property's expenses. A net lease, on the other hand, incorporates property expenses into the rent while a percentage lease involves the tenant paying a portion of the sales as rent. And the last question, what is the major difference between an assignment and an ovation. Assignments transfer duties, but not liability. And novation transfers both. Novations can be implemented whenever there's a need for a new contract, clearly establishing the owner and the tenant's roles with the tenant assuming complete responsibility and liability for the lease. Meanwhile, an assignment bears resemblance to a sublease in its structure and function. All right, this was five questions to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam. If this was helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe because we drop a new video weekly to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam.